Now in this video of C language, we will discuss about external storage class. As we already know, like whenever we define a local variable, it is of auto storage class. So syntactically, when you want to change it from auto to any other such as register, I will just use the keyword register right here. As you can see, register int counter is equal to one. So it is not in auto storage class now, but it is register. So basically, whenever you define a variable that allocates a memory in RAM, means whatever the program you execute, the complete program will get loaded into RAM only. But along with that, the variables are also a part of their RAM itself. But when you use register storage class, they allocate the memory in the CPU register. So that if I want to use any particular uh, variable very frequently during the execution of program, I can simply make it register so that the retrieval of that particular value will be faster. As an output, you will not find any difference, but internally the processing will be much faster. As I said, it will allocate the memory in the CPU register. So, uh, if I'll say like counter is equal to one, if I'll print the value, I'll simply get one, which is the value because it's of integer type. But since it is not allocated in the RAM, so if I'll try to access the uh, address of this counter, which is of uh, register uh, storage class, we will get an error because it is not a part of RAM. And whenever you will use this ampersand, it will tell you the location of address of the location which is there in RAM. But this is not in RAM. So that is why it will give you an error because ampersand will not find the address from the CPU register. So this is about the register storage classes. So here in this small implementation, you can see I have just used these register keyword in order to make int a as a register variable. And when I'll assign a value, obviously I can read that. So here, when I'll execute, it will print the value of a, but it will not be read from the RAM, it will be read from the register. And internally, if you will be working on a big programs, so you can also observe the benefit in the performance. So here, there's the output that is 100, that's the value I have assigned. But as in the description I told, like you will not be able to get the address of any variables which is in register because ampersand will give you the RAM location. So when I'll execute it now, it will give you an error like address of register variable A requested means that is not possible. So this is how you can start working for the with the register storage class for improving the performance of a program without accessing the address of it.